Well, to a developing story now, former Samburu Governor Moses Lennon Kulal Kaysen has been convicted of multiple charges, including corruptly uh, pocketing more than 83 million shillings from the county government. Lennon Kulal was found guilty of using his company Oryx Service Station to supply fuel to the Samburu County govern government and is now waiting for his sentencing tomorrow morning as KTN's Senior political affairs reporter Daniel Karuki updates. This is the first time a governor, former or serving, has been convicted by the anti corruption court. Former Samburu governor Moses Lenol Kulal is a man awaiting to know his fate Thursday to be made by anti corruption court. Clear one rule, 30 pages. Lenol Kulal was found guilty of embezzling Samburu county government funds after orchestrating money transactions through a proxy, Hezbon Washira, who has also been convicted of illegally acquiring public property. In his ruling Wednesday, Chief Magistrate Thomas Nzioke noted there was sufficient evidence to prove Renal Kulal and his co-accused were guilty. The foregoing evaluation of the evidence leads to an inevitable conclusion that there is overwhelming and direct evidence that the governor acted in conflict of interest and acquired direct personal benefit in the contract for supply of fuel. First accused person Moses Kasaina Lenakolal, I find you guilty, convict you for conflict of interest contract provision section 42.3 as read with section 48.1 of ASECA. The judge also found the accused guilty of money laundering. First accused person Moses Kasaina Lenakolal and 11th accused person Nespon Jack Washirandadi jointly guilty and convict each one of you for unlawful acquisition of public property. However, the former county chief was found not guilty of abuse of office, while other former county officers were found guilty of abuse of office. And based on the reasons that I've given, I find the first accused person, Moses Kasain and Clan, not guilty for the offense of abuse of office under the provision of Section 46, as read with 48 of ASECA. When we talk about uh, conflict of interest, such as the one that uh, the former governor has been uh, found guilty of. It is important to remember that the conflict of interest is the bedrock of most of the mega corruption scandals that the country is grappling with. The defense had requested that the accused be released on bail pending sentencing, but the court has directed the former governor, Lenore Kulal, and other accused to be detained in a remand. The sentencing will be done Thursday morning. Daniel Karioki, KTN News. Now let's do some politics. A section of a 